Today I have a super quick video on how to make wood coasters with your Cricut Maker. It's Mindy and let's get started. I've been trying out some different types of home decor projects using my Cricut Maker and I came up with this idea to make monogram coasters out of basswood. I got this 1 16th inch thick basswood from Hobby Lobby but you can also find them on Amazon and I'll try to leave links in the description for everything that I used. One thing you'll definitely want to do is use a strong grip mat which I didn't do and I'll show you what happened because of that. I did tape the basswood down using painter's tape, which you would still do with the strong grip mat. But before we get to cutting, let me quickly show you how I set up my project in Cricut Design Space. I started with a square shape, but I decided I didn't want the sharp corners, so I used a circle to create a rounded edge. You'll just want to center the two shapes, then select everything and use the slice tool to cut into the square. For the monogram, I kept it simple and chose a thick font, which I centered on the shape and again, use the slice tool to cut out. These coasters are for my husband and I, so I cut our initials. I made four of the shapes and before cutting, I arranged them vertically on the matte preview to fit my basswood piece. You will need the knife blade for this project, which is made specifically for the Cricut Maker if you're new to Cricut. Another thing to note here, besides using a strong grip mat, is to size your project a little smaller than your basswood. You'll see in just a second that the Cricut doesn't start the cut along the edge of this piece. So my shapes came out a little uneven. And because I didn't use the right cutting mat, the basswood shifted a little and stopped the cut. I ended up using my knife blade uh, to finish cutting through my project. The basswood is pretty thin, so it's not a hard task. But here is a close up of the uneven cut. And to remedy this, I just ended up cutting about a quarter inch off of the left side of each shape. Not too big of a deal, but learn from my mistake and size your project about half inch smaller than your material. Once I had my basswood pieces cut out, I used this patterned adhesive paper that I had on hand. This paper is like a sticker, but it's not glossy. It feels like paper on the top. I'm not sure what the intended use for this paper is, maybe for scrapbooking. Leave me a comment if you've used these Cricut adhesive papers for anything else. But I just thought it was perfect to use as a background for my letters. So I just cut it out a little bit smaller than the size of my coaster and applied it on the base piece. I used this multi-purpose glue to attach the basswood pieces and made sure to glue around the inside edge of the letters to prepare for the next step. Mm -hmm. 
This was the most exciting part of this project for me. I tried Dimensional Magic by Mod Podge, which looks like resin, but it's non-toxic. The bottle has a dropper style tip and you just apply it by squeezing it on to fill in the space. This is made for jewelry, but it worked perfectly for these coasters to not only give it dimension, but to protect the paper. And if you get any ear bubbles with this, you just use a needle to pop them. Here are my coasters after the dimensional magic dried fully, and I had applied a couple of coats of varnish on the basswood. These coasters are perfect for when we want to have an afternoon coffee in the bedroom, but I also think these could easily be customized to give as gifts for a housewarming, or you could even customize some coffee mugs or wine glasses to make a gift set. If you have a Cricut maker or are thinking of getting one, let me know if there is something you want me to make. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching.